It's Monday guys. Monday, Monday means Costco run. What's up guys? So it is Monday. Monday. Fresh start new week. Me and Ling are at Costco right now picking up the essentials obviously. Um, I've been out of like a meat source of protein for literally the past week. Don't ask me how I've survived. I don't know but I've been hitting my, my protein regardless. Anyways, so I'm getting chicken. I don't know what else I need. Everything because I'm out of everything literally. And today's the day off. Tomorrow's going to be a big day in the gym. So we're going to do Costco, cardio, CC. Coming to you live Monday, starting the week hard. Let's get it. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. So, I ended up stopping at Trader Joe's for some extra stuff. So, I'll have to go pick up some other stuff at another store, but I pick this up. My fat is actually only at six fat currently. And this is a dark chocolate cookie spread. Oh, I thought it was cookie butter. It's a cookie mm -hmm. spread. It is cookie butter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's cookie butter. Anyways. Not as good as I was hoping it'd be. So the chocolate like trumps the actual cookie butter flavor. Just too much. Too much chocolate, guys. Disappointed. All right, guys, we just got back. Picked up some coffee cups, uh, K cups, obviously, from Trader Joe's. Then um, in my fitness palette, I'll show you like, like, Everything in percentages where you know your sodium's at, your iron, all that stuff. And I've been lacking iron a lot. Uh, I don't really eat red meats just because they usually tend to be higher fat. Uh, but I picked this up. Trader Joe's is really good if you're trying to look for ground beef that's lean. So for a serving size, it's four fat. That's pretty low for uh, red meat in general. We stopped at Vaughn's. We went to three different locations because we were in motion. <laughs> Um, they had pita bread at Trader Joe's, but I ended up picking up some from Vaughn's. Pita bread that you find at Vaughn's or Safeways or Albertsons, they're going to be a lot lower in carb. These ones usually range like 27 to 32 carb. The ones at Trader Joe's are minimum 40 carb. So we ran over to Vaughn's. Always make my little pita breads or whatever. So I just picked up some signature select pizza sauce. And then just for when I'm on the go, I usually keep my fat lower throughout the day. Plus, I am on 45 fat currently, so that's pretty high for me because uh, I'm usually able to keep my fat low throughout the day, like I was saying. So I picked up these just for some fast carbs, like if I need to hop in the gym quick and I don't really feel like making anything, I'll pick up like one treat. Last time I got skinny cows, this time I got these. They are whatever these donuts are, but they're 11 fat for one and 30 carb, I believe, so it's not too bad. Then, obviously, I picked up my egg whites that I always get from Kirkland. These will save you guys a ton of money. There's like six carts in here, and it's like nine or 10 bucks. And I got, picked up some greens, because I always try to pick up greens to get in my micros. Got this deep green blend power. It's a blend of baby kale, chard, and spinach. Uh, got some chicken, obviously. I needed chicken badly. These are some of Jessica's goodies. And then I got some bananas. I'm um, just trying to get in micros with my carbs. And fruit is a really good way to do that. That's also Jessica's. Then, like I was saying, I've been having like a craving for hummus lately. So I picked this up. And I have pita bread if I want to do that or make my little pizzas with it. So it's not that bad of carb either. Or sorry, micros. Nah, I'm out of it. I can't even see. It's like six fat, nine carb, and like two or three protein. Roasted pine nut hummus. So I'm excited about that. First carbs of the day. Hydrate. Seriously guys, you need to be hydrating a lot throughout the day. I feel like most people are dehydrated and they don't know it. But a tip on how I got to drinking so much water throughout the day. Actually, I drink a little bit 
well, I guess you can't really drink too much water, but I drink in excess. So when I did a water cut into my very, very first powerlifting meet, I literally had to drink an extra gallon of water opposed to the average human because literally I made uh, drinking a water like a priority and I would literally over drink because it just became like a habit, but a good habit. So make sure that you're hydrated. Anyways, today is a big, big day. It is my fourth week that I have been training uh, doing my prep into the USPA World's National Meet in Vegas, November 10th. I'm going to be competing. It's like a four-day competition, huge competition. That's why it is four days. That's why it takes four days to fit all the lifters in. Uh, you have to qualify for it. I qualified it for it for my first meet. Anyway, today's the fourth week of training. So first two weeks are just like really, really stressing my muscles, um, taxing them. And then this last third week was... My taper week so it basically tapers down like my sets and reps kind of lets my body recover but I am still pushing like a high intensity anywhere from like 75% to 80% which is intensity is just how much weight that you're pushing so last week was my taper week helped me recover this week going in today um, squats are gonna be kind of intense I'm pretty sure that I am testing my bench as well because I've been doing my squats and my bench in the same day and then separating my deadlifts into a different day but so we're gonna see how today goes, guys. Goes. I'm really, really excited um, for an update on my weight. My weight has been going really, really good. I can't stress how much consistency is like the main key to reaching your goals, getting the results that you want with anything when it comes to lifting and dieting and all that stuff. So I woke up at 140, like 0.5 today. So excited! As you can see, I don't know if you can see. I'm looking like a crap ton leaner, feeling a lot better uh, because if I'm being honest, my last meet, I wasn't really, really on top of my dieting when you power lift as opposed to like being on a bodybuilding regiment and you have to diet for bodybuilding. Power lifting, you could kind of get away with stuff, uh, but sometimes it can lead to excess stuff if you know what I'm saying. So anyways, guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, I just like to go over all the baddies. Your micros, micronutrients is just vitamins and minerals that you get, whether it be from actual pills or from your food source. Anyways, uh, I picked up a few, a few more products. Um, so these are stuff that I take daily. I take calcium. I take uh, multivitamin, obviously. Fish oils. You guys know I love my fish oils. Everybody should be taking these, even if you don't lift. Vitamin D3, extremely, extremely important vitamin that most of us lack. Uh, the average human lacks, especially if you don't get in a lot of dairy product, you definitely need to pick this up. Uh, glutamine, this is one of my favorite uh, supplements besides creatine. You guys know I love creatine and I swear by that. I've been weaning, weaning off of creatine for a few weeks now just because it can cause a little bit of bloat because it makes you retain water. Uh, but glutamine is really, really good. It helps with glycogen storage in your muscles, which Glycogen storage is just extra carbohydrate for your muscle, so your workouts are going to feel a lot more strong uh, from you, obviously. Picked up prenatals because I am pregnant, guys. Just kidding! I'm not pregnant, but <laughs> you can ask many people. A lot of people will take these uh, because they're crazy infused with vitamins. And I picked up some hair, skin, and nails. Pills, extra strength, argon oil infused, uh, nature's bounty. Which ones are these? Nature's made. Okay, at, at first I thought they were the same. Anyways, yes, guys, so these are supplements that I use, obviously. Uh, you should definitely pick up a good amount of these because these are like main sups that you need. You know what I mean? Going in, I'm going to film my set of squats. And if I am testing on my bench, which I'm like 80% sure that I am, I was just really excited to see what I was doing for squats because those are like the most taxing thing ever. So if I do bench, then obviously I will get a video for it because I love you. So weight's going really good. Training, we're gonna see how it's been going. We're here in the gym, trying to get it in. I'm literally not even gonna lie, days that I had test days, like today, I was like so hesitant to even come into the gym because it's just one of those days where you know you're going balls to the wall. I 
Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Once again, the two by three, the 230, felt solid. And then um, I did 245 by four, but it cut out my fourth rep. That felt pretty solid through. I'm not too impressed with it. Um, I was hoping to get like five, a little bit more than four. Um, but yeah, so that's where we end today, guys. So I'm gonna be updating you. Off the bench. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the 